everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Buckery Designs. I am kicking off my cottage wreaths project series with a beautiful, bright and cheery Christmas card. The cottage wreaths bundle is available in the 2022 Stampin' Up! Holiday Mini Catalog. All right, we're going to do some embossing first with our wreath. And I'm using my um, Stamparatus because it just makes it a little bit easier if uh, you... You know, if you stamp that image and it doesn't stamp completely, you can lay it back down. You'll also notice I have this part marked right here on my on my stamp with a Sharpie. That is to help you um, when you go to cut out your um, image, there's this little notch here. And that tells me that that's where that notch goes. When you first pull out your stamp set, um, line it up, find out exactly where it is and mark it so that you'll know. All right, the first thing I wanna do is treat my paper with my embossing buddy. This is Poppy Parade. The embossing buddy will release any static that is on there that's gonna keep the embossing uh, crystals or powder in places that we don't want it. All right, I'm using Craft White ink. And we're gonna lay that down. Let's see how we did. All right, pretty good. Now this is kind of a distressed image. You can see it has some texture. So some of those leaves are supposed to be pretty light. I'm not sure about that. Maybe we'll, we'll ink that one just a little bit more down there. The craft ink is a little bit tricky to use with a, a stamp that has texture in it. Um, you're not gonna get all the texture you would with regular ink, but for this project, I'm satisfied with what we got. And now I'm gonna, well, before I heat it, <laughs> it would be a good idea to put the embossing powder on. I'm gonna use my reversible tweezers here to hold this so I don't burn my fingers. I've got white embossing powder from our Basics embossing powder pack. And I'm gonna hit it with a heat tool. All right, now that I have it embossed, we're gonna cut it out with our coordinating die. When you take it off of your Stamparatus, make sure you remember which corner <laughs> was up in the, you know, the mine was up in the right side so that you know exactly which way to lay down your die. I mean, you could figure it out without it, but it takes a little bit of twisting and turning. If you remember where you had it marked, you just lay it right down and it'll be in the exact right place. Okay, so now we're gonna use a basic white card base. And I have our black and white patterns designer series paper, four by five and a fourth. Um, this project is part of my Facebook Friday projects this week. So if you click the link here on YouTube, it'll take you over to my blog where there are two other projects featuring the Cottage Wreaths bundle as well as a free PDF. So all the measurements for this card will be on that PDF. Now my sentiment is coming from a different stamp set ringed with nature. I needed something long and skinny at the top of this scalloped rectangle. So I'm going to stamp Merry Christmas in real red. And we're going to put that on here with some dimensionals. If I can get them all off. Seem to be all thumbs today. Now, the next designer series paper that I'm using is actually a, a pack of paper you can get with Stampin' Rewards, the Celebrate Everything designer series paper. Um, I've cut a circle using the largest stitched circle die. And we're gonna put that right there. And we're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of our wreath. Lots of dimensionals on this card. You'll need a little extra postage if you're gonna send it in the mail. All right, now I've pulled out another piece of designer series paper from the Celebrate Everything pack. That's that pack that the circle is from. And I chose three of the trees and I cut them out with my scissors. They don't have matching dies, but I'm not too worried about that. I just use my scissors and I have them already cut out. So we're gonna just flip them over and we'll use dimensionals on these as well. I'm gonna start with a big one in the middle and then use a couple of smaller dimensionals for the smaller ones. Got a long and skinny right 
there. Now I have also cut out a bow from Basic Black Cardstock. Isn't that pretty? And uh, this is from the Cottage Wreath Dies. And I'm just gonna attach this with a mini glue dot right there. We're gonna start with some black matte dots. I'm gonna use my Take Your Pick tool to pick these up. The little putty end will just kind of scoop them up and we can decorate our wreath. I really like this kind of non-traditional pink and black with a little bit of red color thrown in there. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is add some Wink of Stella to my bow. Um, I, I wanted to use black glimmer and I'm completely out. So I thought a good alternative was to add Wink of Stella here to my bow. All right, there it is. Make sure you hop over to my blog, grab that free PDF, and check out the other two projects, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.